How excited are you to be back in Ann Arbor? Uh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I uh, just stopped cheesing about a day ago, so <laughs> I think it's uh, has set in some, and I'm really excited to get going. What was the what was the process like? The, the hiring process. When did you first hear from these guys, and, and how quickly did it kind of come together? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, like I spoke earlier, I think Coach Hope got word that Coach Montgomery uh, may be leaving, and uh, he gave me a call and. I couldn't believe it, to tell you the truth, I almost dropped the phone, but um, told me it may be a position open, and, and uh, eventually I came in here and interviewed and got the ball rolling. So. Was it tough to bounce from spot to spot to spot? Because in the past, what, five months you've been in three cities? Yeah, in the past ten years I've been in ten different places, too. Um, <laughs> since graduating, I've moved every single year. So uh, it, it's been tough, you know, moving around and trying to get adjusted everywhere I've been, but uh, it finally feels good to come home. Was, was leaving NIU difficult at all because you had just gotten there, or was that to make it easier? Uh, a little bit. You know, I was just trying to get acclimated. I just started uh, kind of getting with my kids there, getting to know them and things like that. So uh, anytime you have to leave somewhere, you know, it, it can be hard. But, um, you know, knowing that I was coming here, I could definitely say made it a, a lot easier. So. Not only the fact you came to Michigan, but now you're back coaching linebackers instead of running backs. How how uh, important was that to you that you got to be with your old position? Really important. You know, when I got into coaching, uh, that's what I set out to do was to coach linebackers and you know coach on that side of the ball. And you know, as this coaching profession is gone, um, haven't necessarily been on that side of the ball and you know uh, accepted every opportunity and was excited about. Uh, every opportunity I got on the offensive side of the ball and tried to learn as much as I could while I was over there. But uh, getting back on my side of the ball, I'm definitely more in my comfort zone, I believe. What's your first goal with this group of players you're going to coach here? What kind of touch do you want to put on this group? Don't mess it up. You know, they had a great coach last season, Coach Madison. I know he did a great job with those guys. So I just want to build on some of those things that they've done and try to, uh, you know, I don't want to say add my own spin on things, but give them a, uh, some different insight maybe that Coach Madison didn't give them, um, you know, to play in that position because I did play it here. So, What do you think your strengths are as a recruiter, and how big is that to your, your role here? I think it's huge. I think it's huge. You know, I'm 31 years old, um, not married yet, um, and I think that uh, th that's a huge thing for me to come here and, and recruit and recruit well and, and show that I can do that. You know, I know Coach Montgomery was a great recruiter here, and so um, I, I definitely see that as a challenge, but I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to it and excited. Um, you know, I, I feel like I can connect with those kids a little differently than some coaches can, um, albeit my age or whatever the case may be. Um, I think kids listen to me, and I, and I think that's probably more so because they know I played, you know what I mean, and, and played in the NFL and things like that. So. Um, I just try to um, use those strengths and, and, and try to be upfront and honest with those kids. So, Have you already been given your recruiting territory? Yeah, right now I'll be um, really on the East Coast, Virginia, North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, maybe the New Jersey area. So um, I'll be out there and, and, and try to make a name for myself out there. Did you recruit that area before or is that new for you? Yeah, those will be new areas for me. Uh, in the past I had Northeast Ohio. Uh, parts of Michigan and, and Louisiana, so definitely new areas for me. But um, you know, I'm a firm believer: if you can recruit, you can recruit anywhere. Um, and, and, and that's part of the challenge. Part I, I was talking about that um, hadn't been there before, but eager and excited to get out to those places later this spring. So, what did you learn from the coaches you had here in Michigan that maybe you try to pass on to now that you're a coach to the guys on this team? Um, Probably the biggest thing, because I had some great coaches, is, uh, you know, not just football stuff, because you get so much X's and O's, but I think uh, the coaches that I had here really helped develop me as a young man and uh, to be uh, successful and to be a contributor to society, you know, outside of just the football or sports arena. Um, they, they cared about the total person and not just the player or the number. And uh, th those same values and beliefs and things that, I kind of picked up here are the same things that I carry with me today. Um, and I can almost hear those things still playing in the back of my head, you know, sitting down in all those meetings and hearing Coach Carr talk about those things. And it sticks with me, and I try to, like I said, relate that to those guys. So, 
what are some of those things that <laughs> nothing good happens after midnight that's definitely, <laughs> one. I, that's definitely one and, and, and uh, I remember coach saying you know life's hard but it's harder when you're stupid you know what I mean <laughs> when you make bad decisions so um, just you know things like that um, but uh, it's a pride it's definitely a pride you have um, coming from this place and uh, you know I, I couldn't be happier and right and more proud to be here right now so